Well, I got the CR10 control box completely done. Ran at least 60 hours of parts on it so far. And uh, I ended up going with this real setup. It's just the uh, plastic roller deals with skateboard bearings on them. I had to glue it to the top of the box, though, because it kept sliding around when it would have a, a tight tug. Uh, but I do have the Raspberry Pi in there. And... The other drawer is for the Big Tree Tech SKR mini board, and uh, I haven't ran it through an app yet. I just haven't gotten time to. Well, I haven't dedicated any time to it. I've had time, uh, and I picked up this really awesome enclosure from a buddy for twenty bucks, and uh, it was a return, and I think it does help on regular prints. I thought it'd only be useful on ABS or PETG, but. Like right now, it is 82, 84 degrees in there. And I got this cool little uh, monitor mount. And then I got this little 7-inch monitor for the Raspberry Pi. Although, don't really need it, being it's a, uh, a network server. So, it, it basically just comes on and, and has some video. You can see here, this is before... I put the Raspberry Pi in. The first drawer there is just a blank. Uh, it has no holes in the side of it for ports. And I was going to show you my setup here for a simple, just big tree tech board. And I added a fan there. And then I made an adapter for the outside. Uh, and made these plates for the back. For some reason, this model does not have the rear fan plates. No fan plates or a power panel. I guess you would call it. Uh, for some reason, the, this revision he didn't have the rear plates or any adapters for uh, wiring or a fan. So I made these on Tinkercad. Um, came out pretty good. I don't know why the circle on Tinkercad always comes out like a point-to-point -point circle instead of a real circle. If anybody knows how to change this, uh, please leave a comment. That would be great to know if you could make it any rounder than that. I don't know, it just bugs me. But I had the little lightning symbol there too for fun to see how good it would print. I know they're not perfectly aligned, but this was like a 30 minute draw up. So you can see the adapter up there. We're out of the fan on the outside. The hole in the side of the case is round, so I had to put the fan on the outside of the panel there. So I just made a square adapter. Plug this in right here. This is after I got the whole uh, Raspberry Pi board in there and hardwired to my network. And here I'm going to show you the OctoPrint login. Plugged in. Plugged in. Servers on. Yeah, it looks like my video got stuck. And then we'll connect. Operational. And see it usually just stops right here and says webcam stream loading. I don't know why. I think the camera takes too big of a load out of the I think the camera is too much of a load for the Raspberry Pi in my opinion. So I'll probably just end up getting one of those Raspberry Pi cameras. This is our current temps. And then you can normally, well, we'll just uh, reload this.
This is a closer look at the Creality enclosure. Uh, it does have an opening in the top and it is fire retardant. I don't know if it's fire proof or not but I don't think it is but uh, and it also has this access door in the side and you can see there's also a port in the back for the wires to come through that's kind of like sealed with some uh, fire retardant material. That is the end of our show. Thanks for watching. Hobbies and Hot Rods.